bit better. That's a little bit better. That's yes. a little bit better. Yes. Come on, we're here. We're at the graduating classes exercises of 2022 Believers Faith Christian Academy. Woo! Wow, we are so excited. Oh my God, we continue yes. to make history here at Believers Faith. And we're looking at so many smiling faces. That's right. We're looking at the future. Yes, hallelujah. Of this nation and the nations of the earth. Yes. So one more time, if you're glad to be here, you know where you are. Come and put those hands together. Woo. Woo. And let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We've made it through one more year. Yes. Two years of online. We were out with the pandemic, hallelujah, mm -hmm. but we came back strong. Our teachers fought, our administration fought, yes. hallelujah, worked hard to bring our kids back up to speed. Yes. And now we are graduating. Oh my God. Hallelujah, our second class. Oh my God. Come on, give God praise, hallelujah. We give him praise. We are so grateful, hallelujah. Under the leadership and the directorship That's right. of Miss Megan Nottage. Come yes. on, give God a praise. We give God praise. Come on, let's honor the Lord. Yes. Also, our principal who came over, hallelujah. Oh, my full God. Full time oh for the God. first time. Come on, give it up for Principal Nadia Evans. <laughs> Strong leadership. Yes. And also, vice principal, Samantha. Oh, yes, and a team of dedicated, hardworking teachers that were committed to making sure that every young person, every child that walked through the door had a good education yes. because our motto oh is God. with God. And and a good education. Oh, yes. My God. <laughs> we will take one nation at a time. We can change nations. That's right. Hallelujah. And yes. that's what we sought to do here at Believer's Faith. Anybody glad oh, that your yes. child Woo! is a part of Believer's Faith Christian Academy? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are so grateful to be here. All of this yes. has been made possible because of the visionaries oh, yes. and founders. Come on. Come on, give God praise for Apostle. Glory to God. Dr. Edison Nottage. Yes. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. our dearly beloved prophetess, yes. Dr. Maddie Nottage. Mm -hmm. We are so grateful oh, yes. for our founders. It was several years, several decades ago. Yes. They had a burden for the youth of this nation. Right. And they would spend time evangelizing the young people on the streets. Yes. They would stop their cars, literally, on the sides of the roads. And they would evangelize young people just like you sitting in these seats on today. Just to let them know that Jesus loves them. That's right. That they had a future. Yes. And that they had a purpose. And so decades ago, this was birthed in their spirit yes. to start programs, transformation programs that would change the lives, change the mindsets of so many young people. They saw young people not as, as hoodlums. That's right, yes. <laughs> Not as a menace to society, but they saw young people as just being misguided, misdirected. Hallelujah. And so they went on an all-out mission and a mandate from God yes. to establish programs that would bring transformation. Come on. Come on. Yes. That would bring reform to the minds yes. of young people everywhere. Hallelujah. And as a result of that, they have developed so many programs. That's right. Over the years. Yes. Believers Faith Christian Academy yes. is the culmination oh my of God. all of those programs. Oh my Come God. Come on, give God praise. We give him praise. If we can go back just a few, just a few months, a few years, yes. we can talk about the faith village for girls. Yes, ma'am. We can talk about how Apostle and Prophetess took 40 young women yes. who were deemed out of control, who were deemed violent, unwed mothers, amen, took 40 young women for two weeks. Hallelujah. From morning to evening, 24 hours a day, sat with them, fed them, transformed their lives. 
And I'm telling you, transform those young women yes. into beautiful, beautiful golden swans. Right. At the end of the transformation program, they came out with their gowns. And we could not believe that young women who were once smoking cigarettes, who were once on marijuana, on drugs, on alcohol, confused, violent, come on, come on had been transformed in just that short time yes. because they got the right attention yes. from the right person. So come on, one more time. We want to bless God for our visionaries. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise for them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so they believed that in those few short weeks, if they could have transformed the lives yes. of those young women, what could we do with a program that would take young minds from they were small, from they were babies, yes, amen? Teach them the ways of God yes. and teach them that they had value. Oh, my God. And how can we forget oh. the trailer boys? Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God, we are just so proud of that initiative. Yes. Our pastors were unrelenting. They were determined, hallelujah, to bring the transformation to the lives of young men. Yes. So they took a trailer, hollowed it out, my converted God. it into a state-of-the-art apartment. Yes. Amen. Oh my God. And they housed those young men. And every morning, 5 a.m., prophetess did not assign someone, hallelujah, to bring them on the altar to pray. She herself. She went herself. Oh, she slammed on the side of that trailer. My God. Wake up! It's 5 a.m. My God. Time to pray. That's right. And she led those young men into times of prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. And now some of them, they got married. Yes. Hallelujah. They opened their own businesses. That's so right. Oh my God. Yes. We had some success stories. Not all, but we had some. Yes. And so they realized that they had a formula. Yes. God had given them a formula for the youth of the nation. Hallelujah. And so we are grateful. Again, Believers Faith Christian Academy is the culmination of that vision. One more time, put your hands together. Hallelujah. And give God a praise. Hallelujah. For the vision of this ministry, yes. of this work. Amen. You know, Minister Kim, we are so excited to be here on tonight. Do I have any excited young people here Woo! on tonight? Oh, my God. And Minister Kim, you know, we are seeing the sanctuary is so beautifully decorated with all kinds of parents. Yes. Oh, my God, that have come from so Woo! many places. Oh my God, we welcome those of you that are here in the sanctuary on tonight. We welcome you here on tonight. We're about to begin, oh my God, this commencement exercise. Are you excited about what is getting ready to take place Woo! on tonight? Hallelujah. Come on parents, these are your children. Oh my God, hallelujah. So we will now begin with the procession of our graduates. Are you excited about it tonight? Well, if you are, put your hands together. Hallelujah. As we welcome the graduating class yes. of 2022. 2022. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the graduating class, KT. Woo! Following behind them is K4. And of course, lastly, we will have grade six.
is the graduates K-4. Let's put our hands together for K4. So nicely regaled. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Very nice. Very nicely regaled. All right, everybody ready for great six? Hey! Well, let us put our hands together for them as they come. Yeah.
Come on, people of God, put your hands together. Let's celebrate, oh my God, let's celebrate. What a fantastic presentation, oh my God, from some of our, yes, oh my God, from some of our students at Believer's Faith Christian Academy. Yes. Will you guys, bless, we'll put your hands together. Oh my wow. God. What a beautiful class song. Yes, Take, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Ah, takes me back, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Way back indeed. We are so excited again to welcome all of you here to the commencement exercise of the graduating class of 2022. Ooh, oh yeah. my God, we are so excited. Well, the next item, Minister Kim, that we have here up for bid is our baton passing ceremony. Oh my God, so we will invite those students, Miss Danae Lewis yes. and Kezriel Stewart will, of course, be doing this today. Yes. Put your hands together as they come. Come on, let's welcome them. Come on, put those hands together. Yes. The baton passing ceremony. That's right. Amen. We pass the baton to you. We receive. We receive. Come on, give God a praise. The shortest relay. <laughs> the baton has been passed. Wow, so now they have the mandate to carry on what the sixth graders has accomplished right. in this year and to do greater. So come on, let's give God a praise. Come on, put those hands together. Yes. The baton has been passed. Amen. Amen. Right. So we will continue with our exercises. We will have our opening prayer by none other than Miss Shekinah Ferguson.
everybody it's time for the prayer please all heads bowed and all eyes closed Lord we thank you we exalt your name and we reverence you for you are worthy we thank you for allowing us again to gather in your presence for this beautiful ceremony on tonight we thank you for our director our principal and our vice principal we thank you for our founders in person, Apostle Edison and Prophetess Manny Nottage. We thank you for our teachers and the staff of BFCA. We know that all good gifts come from you. So in your name, Jesus Christ's name, we say amen. 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 Hallelujah. True reason that we're here, we give God praise and we honor him for what he is doing. You may go ahead and take your seat. Well, at this time, we will welcome Master Deshard Nottage, who will be reading our scripture this afternoon. Good night, everybody. We can all stand. The scripture reading is taken from Philippians 3, verse 13 to 14, and chapter 4, 4, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens, who strengthens me. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. Come on, people of God. Come on, students. If you know that you can do all things through Christ, who strengthens you, then put your hands together and bless the name of Jesus Christ. Well, at this time, we're going to move right along, and we're going to have our national anthem and the national pledge. That will be carried out by Jada Charles and followed by that we're going to have the school pledge and school song by Master Zion Knowledge. Amen. Please put your hands to your side as we sing, sing the national, national anthem. anthem. Lift up your head to the rising sun. to glory bright banners waving high see how the world marks a manner of your bearings pledge to united in love and service. 
pledge to the Bible, pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge my allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. Pledge to the Bible. I pledge my allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide his word in my heart that I may not sin against God. Pledge to the school. I pledge my allegiance to Believer's Faith Christian Academy and stand behind what we believe. I remain dedicated to serving God and empowering my character while reaching my goals. I am committed to transforming lives and empowering people destined for global greatness. I stand strong in my faith with a firm understanding that I have been called by God to be an agent of change. We will now I'll sing, sing the, the school song. song. Please feel free to sing along. One, two, three. BFCA, we are transforming. BFCA, we are empowering. We are CA, character building. We are changing our lives by the way we walk. We are changing our lives by the way we talk. Reaching our goals, uplifting our spirits, striving for excellence, pressing to the end. Conquering all, we are victorious. With God on our sides, we know we can do, we can do anything. We can do anything. We can do anything. We can do anything. We pledge to be true. We pledge to be kind. With love in our hearts and peace on our minds, we pledge to be true, we pledge to be kind. With love in our hearts and peace on our minds, we can do anything. We can do anything. We can do anything. We can do anything. Christian Academy. This, this is for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. A better oh, me. A better me. me. Oh. oh, come on, give it up, give it up. Wow. Pledges, and they make these commitments every day. That's right. This is what your children are understanding and learning, that they're going to be a better me yes. at the end of the day. Come on, give God praise. Oh, my God. Come on, let's honor the Lord. Yes. Amen. Well, at this time, we will welcome now our preschool division, who will, of course, be welcome welcoming all of you here today. Let's welcome our preschool division as they come. All right.
everybody what's next what's next miss brown situation <laughs> song yeah that's good Next is uh, I on my way. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, very well said.
on, parents and students, give it up. Oh, wow, how cute. Come on, give God a praise again. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm on my way. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. And how many know our theme? That's right. Hallelujah. For this year's graduation is we are well on our way to paving the way to greatness. It takes time, it takes effort, and it takes a good education. And they are well on their way. Hallelujah. Yes. Towards greatness. Yes. Well, we are again excited again for what God is doing right here at Believers Faith Christian Academy. Yes. And it takes great leadership. Yes. It takes great effort That's right. from great leadership. Yes. Amen. To make a great following. And so we thank God for the leadership here at Believers Faith Academy once again. Believers Faith Christian Academy. Come on, let's give it up Woo! for our director, Megan Nottage. Our principal. <laughs> and we are just we're so excited to know what those great minds yes. wherever they came together and they produced this yes. and so we are so grateful for them yes. and their effort well now we will be having the principal's address yes so we will welcome now at this time your principal my principal our principal Woo! Nadia Evans <laughs> come everybody should be on your feet come on everybody on your feet Be seated. I stand on the established protocol, but scripture says that a workman is worthy of his hire and that an elder is worthy of double honor. So it is with profound pleasure and honor that I recognize and salute our esteemed senior pastors and co-founders, Apostle Dr. Edison Nottage and Prophetess Woo! Dr. Maddie Nottage. Woo! Come on, Maddie, give her praise. You may be seated. Thank you, Drs. Nottage, for this privilege to serve. To you, our valuable audience, consisting of staff, parents, visiting family, friends, international guests, and to the graduating class of 2022. Woo! Woo! A pleasant good evening. Uh, a pleasant good evening. Good evening. Ah, there we go, there we go. The theme of our graduating class is On the Road to Greatness. Winston Churchill once said, the price of greatness is responsibility. This key word is one of the many character traits that we sought to instill in our students throughout this school year. Other pillars of character included respect, fairness, trustworthiness, love, faith, perseverance, and more. By the grace of God at BSCA, we believe that he has given us a unique blend. We seek to cater to the whole child and began the process of achieving this through our niche programs, namely kingdomology and character development. In addition to marrying the curricula of the Ministry of Education and Debeco. Parents, it was a journey as we sought to instill character in our students. The African adage says, it takes a village to raise a child. So it is not up to the school alone or even the church alone, but rather it takes a concerted effort on the part of all and sundry to reach, teach, and train this generation. To those of you who played your part well, thank you. To those of you who could improve on your partnership, come on, you can do better. We'll give you a chance in September 2022, another chance. And this academic year for us, was filled with many challenges, but more triumphs. The word of God says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimonies. I'm gonna testify for just a bit. 
So when your teachers start counting down the days, my God. ah, you know, you know, you know. And when my tagline became, the prophet uses her red towel, but Principal e Evans uses her Help Me High School. What do I use? Uh, what color cane? Ah, the red cane. So the prophet has the red towel. Principal Evans has the red cane. My God. But listen, it was a year, like I said. Um, but again, filled with much uh, exciting opportunities and activities, and I'll just go through a few. In September 2022, uh, 2021, sorry, we occupied a brand new state of the art three story. Oh my God. Fully <laughs> air conditioned. That's talk right. about it. School building equipped with a fully operational cafeteria. Special thanks again to our founders, yes. Drs. Edison oh, Lourdes, yes. who led the charge in sewing into this work, as well as their partners locally and from around the world. Now, we can proudly say that our school facility is debt-free. Amen. Woo. Our character theme for the month of November was manners, but we also focus on gratitude. With that in mind, we hosted a Harvest Thanksgiving box competition where each class donated non-perishable non items for the less fortunate and decorated a theme box to display their items. The winner of that event received a pizza party, but more importantly, the, our students donated over 500 canned goods wow. and items wow. oh to the care ministry of Amen. Believers Faith Outreach Ministries. We are producing students of character and they are on the road to greatness. The 2022 academic year rolled in with the ministries of health and education stipulating that all schools should reopen virtually due to the ongoing pandemic. As a school, we regrouped and accommodated our students via our Google Cla um, Classroom platform. Once the all clear was given, we welcomed all of our students safely back to our campus where learning, spiritual emphasis, enrichment, and character development continued. We were able to host several activities for both staff and students which catered to the whole man, body, soul, and spirit. On February 4th, we hosted our annual Literacy Week under the theme, Bridging the Gap Through Literacy. Parents and students participated in reading activities, book reports, and more. The week climaxed with a character book parade where students came dressed as a book character and gave a synopsis of the book. Well, I was not to be left out, so I came dressed as, who could remember? Principal Evans. Ah, thank you, Mr. Stewart. Cat in the hat. My I was God. cat in the hat. And so we certainly had an awesome time um, during that occasion where we will continue and we will continue to focus on literacy because we are producing students of character and they are on the road to greatness. On February 23rd, we hosted our second health seminar for our entire student body, hosted by our school's registered nurse and midwife. Nurse Maisha Shelton. She spoke to our students about health and hygiene, good touch, bad touch, no-no zones, safe areas, and more. Because we want to ensure that our children feel safe and protected inside and outside of our care. Yeah. On February 24th, we hosted a day of seminars for our staff. The theme was catering to the whole man, body, soul, and spirit. As you can tell, our emphasis continues to be on developing individuals or building people. With the assistance of Dr. Bain Roll, our school's chapel was and hall was transformed into a health station with blood pressure and cholesterol checks, dietitians um, who were there to medically evaluate us, and so much more. We were also treated to spa treatments consisting of back massages from the renowned Serenity, Serenity Spa. Look her up, Miss Gardner. In addition, our staff was professionally developed when one of our very own Deputy Director of Education, Dr. June Roll, instructed the teachers and aides in writing effective lesson plans and so much more. The day climaxed when the Doctor of Deliverance conducted her spiritual checkup on her staff. 
Was any staff there can appreciate that time? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Dr. Maddie Nottage, prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage, as only she can, came and touched the heart and soul of every BFCA staff member present. I will never forget this day and honor God for how he uses us, how he uses Dr. Nottage to minister to us. The months of March and April were also filled with lots of exciting and enriching activities. On March 10th, our social studies department under the leadership of Mr. T. Barnaby. Mr. Barnaby, Mr. Barnaby, grade nine, homeroom teacher. Took us on a high school trip to Clifton Heritage. It was a fun and educational experience as students learned about Bahamian history and saw it come to life with demonstration and models. On March 11th, the school participated in an annual inter-house sports meet Whoop. at the Thomas Robinson Stadium. Yes, yes, yes. It was an epic event as the mighty Angels House dominated track and field. Oh. I, it was the Angels, right? I have not seen the official results, even though a winner was named. We may have to call a commission of inquiry on that one. But anyway, moving right along, on March 16th, we hosted our careers week under the theme, Who Are You? Why Are You Here? And Where Are You Going? We invited persons to the campus from various industries and occupations, such as the law enforcement, the hospitality industry, entrepreneurs, and business owners, such as transformation, landscaping, development, and more. We had renowned executive chefs, such as Chef Edwin Johnson, and persons from the medical field, uh, health field, Bahama Health, royalties, beautiful Paula, beauty Paula, beauty Paula, CEO Miss Megan Nottage, and so much more. Students were exposed to real uh, to a real careers fair. So you see, parents and audience at BFCA, we are ensuring that our students are well rounded and equipped to more than adequately function in society because. We are producing students of character, and they are on the road to greatness. Moreover, on April 1st, 2022, we hosted our inaugural science fair. This was an unprecedented event. That's your word. Unprecedented event. <laughs> our students produced some awesome science fair projects, and the hard work was evident. I was certainly proud of their efforts. Our judges had such a difficult task in declaring winners, but listen, at the end of the day, we had several persons tying for first place. All right? So our aim this school year and going forward is to expose our students to many opportunities and, event, and events. BFCA Warriors, we are making our mark in academics, in athletics, Amen. in character, Amen. and Christ-likeness. Yes. So, spelling B, here we come. Woo. Laws of Life Essay Competition. Here we come again. Inter-school sports, including basketball. Here we come again. Yeah. Speech and debate. Here we come. 2022. We're right. coming. We're coming. We're coming. Well, yeah. So parents, spread the news. BFCA is the school of choice. Yeah. Yes. All right. So take advantage of our special even going on this week where registration is absolutely Free. Let me say it again. Michael. Registration is absolutely free. But, ah, there's a clause. But all you have to do is secure your child's seat. Just pay a little the seat fee. But registration is free. Amen. All right, so come on over to Warrior Nation because we are, say it with me, producing students of character. And they are where? And they are going where? Okay, let me say it for you then. We are producing students of character, and they are on the road to greatness. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Oh, come on, let's hear it from Principal Evans. Wow. Come on, let's hear it from Principal Evans. Yeah. My God. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, that was a busy school year. I was so inspired. I think I want to do sixth grade again. My God. I missed some steps along the way. Uh. <laughs> Come on, we give God praise again. BFCA, are you in the house? We're going to continue, hallelujah, with our graduation exercises. We're going to our high school, seventh, eighth, and ninth graders. And we're going to this sweet we Bahamian praise. team. 
praise. Amen. Come on, seventh graders, high schoolers. Amen. You're up next. Oh, they're ready. I think we're good. <laughs> when they left the stage, I was just starting. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. Oh, I saw you. my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Come on, let's give him praise. Come on, give our praise. Come Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. For our high schoolers. Yes. Several indigenous local dances. Oh, my God. Enjoyed every minute of it. Yes. Amen. All right. Well, we've got a video presentation. Yes. Next, highlighting some of our lovely graduates and our students prepared by our media department. Yes. Amen.
God. That was so fantastic. Come on, come on, people of God. Oh my God. That was so beautiful, Minister Kim. Oh my God. Are we wow. excited to be here at Believer's Faith yes. Christian Academy? Yes. Wow. Oh my that God. That was just so awesome. That was just so awesome, Minister Kim. You know, and you know, just highlighting some of what we saw there. You know, we saw the children that were running there, even on sports, sports day, day. They had such a fantastic time there at the Thompson Robinson uh, Stadium there, and they were enjoying themselves every step of the way. Oh my God, even to the science fair that just happened. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We are so excited about what God is doing here yes. at this school, Minister Kim. Truly producing well-rounded students. That's, That's right. what it's all about. Yes. About a Christian education. The spiritual aspect is being stimulated. Academics, athletics, yes. every aspect. And so we've got well-rounded students That's right. that we're producing here at Believer's Faith Christian Academy. Come on. Let's oh. give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are continuing, hallelujah, with our exercises. Yeah. And we've got one of the most dynamic sisters, speakers ever that's coming to address us. <laughs> and to introduce that speaker, let's welcome now Miss Kalia Evans. <laughs> everyone. Good evening. Apostle Edison Nottage is a man of faith and power. He accepted Jesus at the age of 16 and immediately began witnessing by sharing the gospel of the kingdom with others. He became an active faithful member at his local church where he served as a youth minister and aide to his pastor. Apostle Nottage is married to our beloved prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage and they have four beautiful children together. After much prayer and fasting, Apostle Edison and his wife answered the call of God to full-time ministry. God had instructed them to go forth into ministry and raise the standard of righteousness and holiness in the lives of young people and families here in the Bahamas and all around the world. As a result, he and his wife have founded several organizations which include the Back to God's Altar Worship Experience, the Mending the Marriage Ministry, when Lions Roar, Sons of Thunder, Men's Ministries, the Transformation, Empowerment, Mentorship for Purpose Program for Boys and Girls, the Boys to Men and Girls of Excellent Clubs for Youth and Children, the Back to the Cross Ministry, the Broward County Club, but most recently, our Believers Faith Christian Academy. He and his wife, Prophetess Nottage, have been actively involved in youth and family ministry for over 20 years, both locally and abroad. In recognition of his significant achievement, he received the Doctor of Divinity degree and both Doctors Nottage Youth Organization was rewarded the proclamation of state by Miami-Dade County. Apostle has authored the critically acclaimed book, Don't Quit, Get Back in the Fight. Dr. Edison Nottage aimed to teach children kingdom, profit, kingdom principles that will help equip believers, young and old, great and small, how to use their faith to gain victory over the enemy of their soul while advancing the kingdom of God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you Apostle Dr. Edison Nottage, co-founder of the illustrious Believers Faith Christian Academy. say hallelujah. Uh, Y'all done sat down already? I, I, I thought y'all would have still been standing for me. Could we just stand one more time and let's honor all of these yes. young people. Come on, get up on your feet one hallelujah. more time. Yes, sir. Let's honor our young people. Let's honor our young people. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. You know, you know, we are so quick to cast judgments on them when they do something wrong. Yes, sir. But when they do something good, 
You can hardly hear anybody saying anything. Come on, Apostle. So I just want all of you that are in here today, let's put our hands together. And let's give God praise and let's praise him for all of these young ones that are here with us. All of our children, our grandchildren, whatever role they are. Come on, let's give God praise. I can't hear you clap. I can't feel you clap. Come on, I, I, I need to see some enthusiasm. I can't feel you. I got to feel you. You got to be excited. You got to be excited about your children. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Can I get someone to say hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. I know some people ain't been in church for a long time, but you can say hallelujah. 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 Come hallelujah. on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. So we give God praise for all of our graduates. Hallelujah. And all of these young people that are here with us on the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice. And we will rejoice in them. Yeah. These are the future. These that, are, that stand before us today. Right. They are the future. Hallelujah. That's right. The future generation. Hallelujah. They are the future generation. Amen. amen. Some of y'all look like y'all scared to say amen. Some people have their hands like they're afraid to loosen up. Like they're afraid that the Holy Ghost might jump up in them. My God. Hallelujah. You can't run from the Holy Ghost. That's Amen. It, that's it. Go read your Bible and check Paul. And Paul was trying to run from the Holy Ghost. And God knocked him down. And the next thing you know, he was speaking in tongues. And he was filled with the Holy Ghost. But that's a, that's a, that's a topic for another time. I, I, I promised that we was going to be out here by 8 o'clock. Hallelujah. My God. All right, son. My God. Well, y'all didn't want to go home tonight. Okay, that's good. I like, I like having a long church. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. When Principal Evans took her most of the time, she pretty much done. I thought she was, she, I think she bring my speech. My God. And so, I don't have much to say. But one thing I do have to say is, we are on the road to greatness. Hey! Yeah. Anybody on the road to greatness? Yes. yes. Any of you young people on the road to greatness? Young man, are you on the road to greatness? Are you on your way to, to greatness? Come on, you ain't look like you on your way to greatness. You gotta, you gotta be more excited about that. Hallelujah. Oh! We are on our way to greatness. Now, now, we want to, young uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Don't start that because I can start preaching for the real and you know. <laughs> Don't fill in while they're talking right now. Hallelujah. And they sang a song tonight. Did y'all hear the song? Did y'all see those young people holding notes? When they first came here, some of them were afraid to hold the mic. That's right. We couldn't get them to come and hold the mic. Now they're holding the mic and they're holding notes. I tell you, we are on our way to greatness. Yes, sir. Now, some of you and you are some of the older people, you know, they, are on the, they were on their way and they gave up. And they never reached. They came off the road that, that was leading them to greatness and they made some mistakes. So I want to encourage, first of all, some of you older people, you can still get back on the road to greatness. Yes, sir. Even though you might have fallen by the wayside, you can still get back up. But these young people are on their way to greatness. Ooh, yeah. Where are we on our way to? Greatness. 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 Okay, since you don't, you don't understand that, we are on our way to doing great things. And I want, I want this one. I, I only have two more. One minute left. Oh, Lord. That clock wrong. Right there back five minutes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I got, as a prophet, I can control the time Amen. and make it stand still. Amen. Amen? Yes, sir. But we are on our way to doing great things. That's what that means. Yes, sir. Amen? Now, some of these little case, case who's sitting there, they're like, what you all up in here? Why up in here? Why I have on these robes? Please hurry up, get me off this, this hat off my head. So I ain't going to keep you long. I promise. Can, we, can I have two, two minutes? Yes, sir. Just to show you I only want two minutes, stay standing. If you sit down, I can go longer. Two minutes, I promise you. We are on our way to doing great things. Amen? Amen. And so you, students, I want to charge you that you are going to take your life and make something great out of it. 
I want you to say that out loud. Say something great. Something, something great, great is going to come out of my life. It's going to come, come out, out of my life. life. I'm going to take my life. I'm going to take my life. life and do something great. And, and do, do something, something great. great. I will not be another statistic. I will not be another statistic. I will be a not. I will not be. I will not be another number in the prison number in, in the, the prison. prison amen i will not be i will not, not be one that falls by the wayside one that falls you ain't talking wayside. you ain't talking you gotta say it amen I will not be. I will not be another one. Another one that fall by the wayside. Fall by, by the wayside. wayside. But I am going to take my life. But I am going to take my life. And I'm going to do something great. And I'm going to do something great. I'm going to accomplish something. I'm going to accomplish something in this world. In this world. Before I leave. Before I leave. Somebody's going to know my name. Somebody's going to know for my doing name. something great. For doing something great. Now, if you really believe that, lift your hands. And just give him a shout out. Just hey, shout out to the Lord. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, shout if you I'm talking to you now. You gotta shout. Hey. You just said it. If you believe it, shout out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I got two more minutes left, right? Yes, I only I need only need two. I should have stopped my two. Now, the voice in the sound that got me. You all still here? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Put a smile on your face. Come on, put a smile on your face. I look at the boys on the side, you say you look so much better when you smile. You look so much better when you smile. So keep smiling, keep so smiling. Keep smiling. Please keep smiling. Please keep smiling. And the, the, the voice say, no stopping now. No stopping now. Tell the one you can't stop now. You can't, you can't stop, stop now. now. When you're on your way to greatness, you can't stop for too long. Right. Hallelujah. You can't be idle for too long. Right. You can't waste too much time. No stopping now. There's so there's still ways to go. There's so much more to, 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 to do. There's so much more to be accomplished. Amen. So I can't stop now. I cannot afford to waste time. Amen. I can't waste time. I gotta be careful who I'm hanging out with. You gotta be gotta watch out for your company. You gotta choose company wisely. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Watch who you're hanging around. Because everybody don't want to be great. Some people are just satisfied being where they are. That's right. But if you have made up in your mind that you are going to be great, then you can't hang out with somebody that don't want to be great. That's right. Amen. You got to now look for the people that are trying to go where you are trying to go. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can't hang out with the wrong people. You can't, you can't waste time watching the wrong type of things. You can't waste time on those foods looking at the wrong type of things. Amen. Amen. You got to get yourself involved and, and get yourself around people that want to do something great with their life. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Now it says, oh, so there's so much, there's still ways to go. Hallelujah. Somehow, some way, whatever it takes, I know I'll never quit. Tell somebody you can't quit. Can't quit. Because if you quit, if you quit. oh, you all talking, can I, can, I, can I have my class? Could you all bring it out of your belly and, sh and let it come out of your mouth? Hallelujah, say, say, I can't quit. I can't quit. Stay off the mic for a second. I want to hear my class. Say, I can't quit. I can't quit. I can't hear you all. I cannot quit. I cannot quit. I cannot quit now. I cannot quit now. I cannot stop now. Because quitters, because quitters never win, never win. and winners yeah. never, quit. never quit. Put the mic to your mouth. Quitters, quitters never win, and winners will never quit. And winners will never quit. Hallelujah. So if you're going to be great, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't drop out of school. Hallelujah. You got to do your homework. You got to read good books. You got to read the Bible. If you want, if you want to reach to something and be in something great, you must learn, hallelujah, to do to, to be extraordinary. Hallelujah. It says that eagles never hang with chickens. You'll never see an eagle on the ground scra scraping for worm like a chicken. You see chicken in the yard all day long. This is how they look. Scratching the ground, then they go down and pick up whatever they see if they see anything, and they pick that's a chicken. Hallelujah. Eagles stay high. 
They don't come. Only thing they come down the ground for is pick up their food. They, have, they come to pick them up. They might come and grab a chicken and carry it back up for food. But they don't hang with chicken. So if you're going to be great, you got to be careful who you hanging out with. So you cannot quit. Say that again. I cannot quit. I cannot give up. Cannot give up. Hallelujah. And even if I go down. And even if I go down, and even if I go down, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Hallelujah! To get back up. To get back up. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. They remember my name. They remember my name. Even a hundred years from now. Even a hundred years from now. Now, for somebody to remember your name that long after you're gone, you have to have done something great. Hallelujah! For somebody to just still be talking about you a hundred years after you're gone. You must have done something great. Amen? And so, I want to encourage you. Then the next place, say, I will never give up. I'll never give up. Come on, Kay, say it. I'll never give up. Come on, come on, grade six, say it. I'll never give up. I will never give up. Come on, K, three, three, four, and five. I'll never give up. I'll never give up. Come on, B, F, C, A. I'll never give up. I'll never give up. Say it. I'll never give up. I will never give up. I'll never give in. I will never give in. Never let a ray of doubt. Never let a ray of doubt slip in. Slip in. And if I fall, and if I fall, I'll never fail. I'll never fail. I'll just get up. I'll just get up and try again. And try again. That is what make people great it's not the fact that you fall but when you fall or you do something that's out of you get back up you dust yourself off hallelujah Muhammad Ali was considered one of the greatest boxers of all time it was not because he was undefeated it was not because he never lost a battle it was not because he even he lose he lost his championship three times he went into the ring and, and lost his belt three times but every time he lost the belt he went back into the gym he trained again and he came back and he won the belt back again and that's why he went down as one of the greatest boxers that ever lived yes Michael Jordan is considered one of the greatest basketball players that ever played amen but they just said that in high school he got cut from the team they cut him from the team in high school, but he did not allow that to stop him. Amen. He continued working on his game. And a few years later, he was on the team. He was in college, yes. one of the greatest college players. Yes. Ran into the NBA and left as one of the greatest NBA players yes. in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he didn't give up. If you got to be great, you cannot give up. Say that one more time. If I'm going to be great, if I'm, I'm going to be, be great, I cannot give up. I cannot, I cannot give up. If I'm going to be great, if I'm going to be great, I will not give up. I will not give up. Say, I am going to be great. I am going to be great. So I'll never stop. So I'll never stop. And I will never give up. I'll never give up. Now give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give you one scripture, Matthew chapter 6. If you're going to be great, if you're going to be great, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Anybody here can tell me what that say? Hallelujah. Go ahead, Mr. Zion. Seek ye first unto the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else that you need will be added unto you. So if you're going to be great, your first uh, uh, decision is seeking God first. If you're going to be great, your, your first decision is putting God first. You must put God first in your life. Hallelujah. And he said, if you put me first, everything else will be added unto you. So you got to put him first. You got to be first in everything. Hallelujah. Before you go to do your homework, you pray. Hallelujah. You, you say, well, Lord, I'm having trouble Amen. I, I read with reading. Pray. Say, Holy Ghost, help me. Help me to learn how to pronounce this word. Help me to learn, hallelujah, how to say this word, how to read this, this book. Amen. Help me to learn yeah. in maths. Help me to be able to calculate, hallelujah. 
Yeah. And you pray, you have the Holy Ghost who is always with you. All you got to do is ask him and he is willing to help you. So you must put God first in everything that you're going to do if you're going to be great. Amen? Amen. Can I have a loud shout? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, I just want to encourage you, I charge you, make up in your mind that you're going to be great. Amen? We don't need no more bad boys. Amen. We have enough. Amen? Amen. We have enough bad boys running around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of them holding the gun and they can't even spell gun. Amen. You right? Amen? Yes, sir. They shooting weapons and they don't even, they can't even spell bullet. Amen. No, this is real. You know, you guys, these are the boys that are out there doing a lot of craziness. Boys and girls now. Amen? They're doing a lot of craziness, making a lot of crazy decision. You know? Because they say when you're dumb, my God. help me somebody, you're when you're dumb, you're dangerous. Hallelujah. The mind is a very, very, very serious thing to waste. Amen. And so they wasted their time in school. And they came out of school and the only thing they know is, I need a gun. I want to rob somebody. I want to shoot somebody. I want to do harm to somebody. We don't need no more of that on our streets. Amen. We need some smart young men and women. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's going to rise up and say, we're going to make a different in, difference in this society. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't coming out of school to hang on the blocks. Amen. I ain't going to school to come out and, and smoke dope all the days of my life. You're talking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't come out to smoke drugs. Marijuana, whatever you call it, ganja. Hallelujah. Whatever. Right now, you know, the, the world has slipped so far today. Anything they can find to smoke, they smoke in the day. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Or sniff in the day. Amen. They take in the, the, the normal medication. Yes. And they find in a way to, to, to start sniffing that and, and smoking that. That's yes. where the world goes. That is not what God brought you here for, though. God brought you here to be great. Amen. And so, listen, with the help of God, our theme is what? With God and a good education, we are going to conquer this nation. And nations, one person at a time. Yes. One student at a time. We are, we have, many of you here came, you couldn't read what you're reading. You wasn't doing good in some subject, but you're doing much better. You was behaving so bad, and your parents are having so much trouble with you, but now you're behaving better. Amen. We work weak because we make and we take the time yes. to work with you. Amen. We will continue to work with you. As long as you want it, want to be worked with. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister uh, Principal Evans have the red cane. Hallelujah. Amen. My cane is the normal color. Amen. But mine's bigger than hers. And then if you ever been in there, My God. you know that way bigger than hers. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't believe, I don't like to have to use it. You know, my daddy used to tell me when he beat me, this could hurt me more than it hurt you. And I always used to wonder, what you mean by that? Because you're the one holding the belt and you're the one whipping me. Amen. How you can tell me it's hurting you more than it's hurting me? But every time I have to spike one of y'all, I see what he means. Because I feel so bad having to hit you. But then I realize if I don't, you spare the rod. I'm going to spoil the child. And you know, you only come to my office when you've been worn and worn and worn and worn so many times. Then they say, okay, we got to send you to a person. Amen? Amen. And so, but I don't want to see you all in there for that this time. I want to see you all in there because you all did something good. Amen. So I want to give thanks to all, to the principal, to the director, to the vice principal. Come on, let's give God praise for these people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all of our teachers, all of our staff, all of our faculties. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. I want Hallelujah. to give God praise for the parents. Yeah. Hallelujah. Continue to push your children Amen. as we push them. Hallelujah. We want to give God praise for all of our sponsors. Yes. Sponsors, you helped to make this happen. We were able to, hallelujah, bring in some people on scholarship because we had some sponsors that say, I want to sponsor a child. Yes. Hallelujah, in the school. And so we were able to give out a few scholarships. And as the more sponsors come on board and, may, and sponsor, we would be able to help some people. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Free registration. You all heard the principal say that. Free registration. Take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take advantage of the free registration. Amen. Well, my two minutes is up. I also want to give God praise for Providence Dr. Marty Norwich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Co-founder. Hallelujah. But really founder. Hallelujah. We give God praise for her. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen, it takes a whole village. And if all of us work together, when you see these young people in the next three and four and five years, you yourself will be shocked Amen. as to what God would have done in their life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. True a good education. Amen. And so I want to encourage you. Let's continue on to greatness. Hallelujah. Let, don't look back. Forget everything that's behind you. Amen. Press forward to the thing that's before you. Yes. I like my poem to say, drive the nail right. Yes. Oh, yes. Hit it on the head. Yes. Strike with all your might while the iron's red. If you have work to do, do it with a will. Because he who's going to reach the top and become great, you must climb the hill. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. I love you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Apostle. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Let's honor the Lord for that address. Amen. Always so inspiring, our Apostle. We appreciate him so much. Come on, give God a praise one more time. And now it's time for us to celebrate each and every one of our students yes. who have for all of your hard work and dedication this year. We will have now our award ceremony led by our own very own Principal Evans. Yes. All right, all right, all right. It's about that time, award time, and I will be getting some assistance uh, from Director Nordich at some point. Our Vice Principal will announce our Students of the Year, but we will begin with outstanding students in the nursery area. Can we get some assistance at the table? Preschool, primary to my right, high school to my left. Amen. Assistance on aisles six, seven, and eight. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You can keep the music festive. Keep it up. N nice and low. Okay, what we are going to do, uh, students, once you hear your name, you will walk across the stage and... Uh, my apostle. All right, Miss uh, Miss Nordich will begin. <laughs> All right, our director, Miss Nordich, will assist. We will begin with nursery, nursery, nursery. And Pastor McKenzie, I'd like to put you on notice. We will need you in a few minutes to distribute awards. From nursery, put your hands together for Master Malachi Brown, the most outstanding male student in nursery. Jalen! 
improve overall from K2, Zaniel Clark. Mr. Congeniality from K2, Brandon Scott. From K3, most improved and receiving certificates in Kingdomology and Science, Brene Moss. from K2 with perfect attendance, certificates in physical development, kingdomology, science, mathematics, social studies, and language arts. Put your hands together for Master Samuel Dulce. Proud mommy, proud mommy, proud mommy. Outstanding trophy, also receiving certificates in physical development, kingdomology, science, mathematics, social studies, and language arts. Please welcome to the podium, Keely Bastian. and language art, O'Shea Carter! O'Shea! Let's go, O'Shea! Woo! Most friendly, all right! Receiving certificates in spelling, reading. 
Christianity. Come on and put your hands together for Micah Ferguson. Hey, go Micah. Woo. Awesome. Please welcome John Green, who receives certificates in spelling, reading, handwriting, mathematics, social studies, science, and Spanish, John Green. Put your hands together for Renato Musgrove, K-4 graduate, receiving certificates in social studies, science, physical development, and Spanish, Renato Geniality. Taylor Roll. Put your hands together for Brendan Simmons, receiving certificates in social studies, science, handwriting, Spanish, kingdomology, and physical development. Master Brendan Simmons. in the house, Dashton Taylor, receiving certificates in social studies, science, Spanish, physical development, and art. Dashton Taylor. Please welcome Kaden Williams. Kaden is receiving certificates in handwriting, social studies, science, Spanish, kingdomology, character development, physical development, and the most improved boy, Kaden Williams. Good job, Kaden. Last but by no means least, Rounding off the graduates from K-4, this young man is receiving certificates in spelling, reading, mathematics, Spanish, art, science, social studies, physical development, kingdomology, that's religious studies in case you wanted to know, and the most outstanding with 94% and also perfect attendance, never absent, never absent, never absent, Ezra Most outstanding in physical education, 
spelling certificate, Spanish certificate, mathematics certificate, social studies and grammar certificate, and also on the honor roll, put your hands together for LeJayet Paul Jr.
Anella Cornell, receiving certificates in math, science, kingdomology, and social studies. Come on down, Anella. We have two tied for most improved, Azealia Shaw and Antonio Ferguson. Come on down. Awesome improvement in grade two. Moving on to grade three. This young man is most outstanding in math, science, social studies, character development, kingdomology, language arts, and outstanding performance in social studies. Put your hands together for Master Kamari Cartwright. Receiving the 
most outstanding performance in character development. Let's hear it for Lovano Hill. Also receiving most outstanding performance in character development, Jared Roll. Gerard Roll, come on down, Gerard. Now we have our very own international student, all the way from Florida, receiving most outstanding performance in language arts and character development. Put your hands together for Xaviana. Vice Principal, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Azari Sanders receiving the award for science, spelling, reading comprehension, PE and computer. Azari! Woo! Tyson Ford receiving awards in grammar. Computer, math, computation. All right, Tyson. 
Latin comprehension, PE, Spanish, character development, kingdomology, and social studies. Put your hands together for Aubriel Bullard. Hiram Smith. Hiram is receiving awards for spelling, character development, and PE.
Development. Put your hands together for Asia Kute.
outstanding in character development, Shemaria Wilburn. Receiving awards in Kingdomology, Science, Social Studies, Literature, and on the honor roll, let's head for Tanaja Brown. Multimedia graphics and physical education. 
honor roll and receiving the most, out most outstanding award in social studies, mathematics, computer, kingdomology, character development, science, social studies, most outstanding in language arts, literature, Spanish. Please welcome Pietro Smith. <laughs> Receiving the floating trophy for 2022 athletic year would be the Saints. <laughs> Miss Nardich. student of the year for K-4. This student is a confident leader. As small as he is, he's a confident leader. Well-spoken, well-mannered, excellent with numbers. Put your hands together as we welcome Michael Ferguson, student of the year for K-4. 2022, Michael Ferguson.
which happens to be my class. Okay? Now, this student, this student is never late, never absent. Okay? If you say be there for 6 a.m., he will be there for 4.30. <laughs> he is always willing to do everything you ask him. Any and everything, he'll be the man on the job. You tell him to play basketball, he'll do that. You tell him to run, he will do that too. You tell him to dance, he will also try to do that too. Okay, he, was, he is always happy, always. Now I know he, was, um, he faced some challenges in this school year. Okay, in his home he faced some challenges. But he still rised above them all and he pushed, he pushed, she, he pushed this year. Smiling, he pushed, he pushed. And never one day did he wear that on his face. Never one day. And, sorry, just one second. And, you know, we had Teachers Appreciation Day. And I, I noted this because it was such a memorable, mo a memorable moment for me. And this student had nothing to give. He had nothing to give. He saved his last $5. And he said, Ms. Dulce, happy appreci um, Teachers Appreciation Day. That touched my heart. He ate nothing for that day. He had no lunch, no, nothing to drink because he wanted to give me something so bad. And that touched me. Who leave these onions up here? But it brings me great honor to introduce this year, student of the year. Y'all, please stand to your feet. Give it up. I want y'all to shout as loud as y'all can. Okay? Leaving nothing in. Shout as loud as y'all can. Give it up for Mr. T. Sean Strong! and every one of you that received an award, those of you that continue to strive towards greatness, your tenacity, your passion, your effort will not go unnoticed, will not go in vain because you are representing exactly what our founders, Apostle Edison and Prophetess Maddie Nottage, exactly what they represent. And now at this time, without any further ado, we are so excited to welcome to this platform our co-founder, Prophetess, Dr. Manny Nottage. Come on, clap your hands and give God a mighty praise. I wish I had somebody to make some noise in here tonight. Parents, I should hear your voice all the way to the moon and back. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to be long. I want to 
just give God praise. I don't know, maybe protocol officers, if you can help us to get everybody on the inside. And I know that people are already going out in the lobby to take photos and all of that good stuff. I'm just going to be very brief. I'm not going to preach, I promise you. And I even promise you that my two minutes is going to be shorter than Apostle two minutes. <laughs> but let's clap our hands and everybody give God a mighty praise. This has been such a wonderful evening. And I am just so grateful that God has chosen us to be a part of the life of helping to mold the lives of your children. You know, and the Bible speaks about how children, you know, it is the heritage of the Lord. And it says, blessed is the womb or blessed is the quiver that is full of them. So, you know, I just, I want people, I want all of you to continue to celebrate the life of your children. You know, I watched, I, I sat and I watched, you know, the way that parents cheered and roared when they saw that, when they heard their child's names called. They didn't even know if their child got a certificate, got a trophy, got an award, got nothing. Just the fact that they heard their baby's names called, it brought a spirit of celebration in the room. Give God a praise. That's the way it should always be. I said, that's the way it should always be. And so we should learn to celebrate the good, the bad, and sometimes even the ugly. And those times where things doesn't look so well, we should still learn to give God praise for our children. They came out of our wounds. They came out of us. And that's a lot. Amen. Just to come out of some of us and to turn out the way they are to be successful academically this school does not just represent academics this school represents the spiritual uh, uh overall amen growth develop and maturity of your child come on somebody give god a praise for that so yes we are doing character development and kingdomology but our character development is not as the world see character development this is spiritual character development you know, we often say here in Believer's Faith that your gift will make room for you and your gift will take you before kings and great men. But your gift without integrity or spiritual character, amen, is not going to keep you in that door. In other words, amen, you can be gifted, you can be smart, you can be intelligent. But if you're going to stay on a platform or maintain your status as successful, it's going to take, amen, spiritual character and good integrity so tonight i want to just thank god for all of you i want to thank god for our apostle that gave such a powerful charge can we clap our hands like we are excited about it hallelujah so we appreciate apostles so much and i want to thank god for you amen principal evans amen for coming on board this year we are so grateful give can we give god a praise for Principal Evans tonight. Come on, I believe y'all can do much better than that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And of course, our director, Miss Megan Nordich. Our, our senior mistress, amen. Samantha Dulce, our vice principal. Praise God, amen. And we have such a beautiful, I mean, team with us. Uh, I don't see Miss Wright. I saw her earlier. Amen. All of these people, these people are running the back office, the accounts. You know, all of them are a part of this team. And of course, amen, Miss Carly, amen, in our tech support and administrative techie area. We give God praise for all of our staff, our cleaners, our janitors, our everything, our everything. But we would not be a school without teachers can we give God a praise tonight for all of the BFCA teachers all over the building Miss Nose, Mr. Delapo uh, Mr. Barnaby all of them, amen Miss uh, Miss Garcia Sawyer, Miss Ramsey 
And so many of them, I'm like, gosh, I don't remember all the teachers. You know, Mr. Barnaby, Ms. Laramore, and all of those, uh, Brown and uh, Ms. Lewis, everybody. Hmm? Yeah, Ms. Sands. Where is Ms. Sands? I know, Teacher Sands. Where is Teacher Sands? Somewhere. And then laying down in the back there. <laughs> well, amen. We can give our prophecy by this time next year. You will no longer be laying down. Prophesy. <laughs> we love you, Teacher Sands. All of your aides. Amen. The aides that help the teachers. The aides that help the teachers. Oh, my God. And I'm sure these teachers will agree that they will not make it without those aids. Amen. <laughs> so we are grateful to all of you. I don't want to go through calling names, but we are so grateful. Our medical staff, our medical team, our social workers. Amen. We have a full-fledged team here at BFCA. Can you all really give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this school, we are going places. You know, we have had so many, just like every other school, starting out. Can you imagine a baby that's only three years old, trying to walk, trying to talk, trying to stand up? We have had some of the challenges that a toddler will have trying to develop. But one thing about Apostle Knowledge and I, being the founders of this organization, giving up is not a part of us. Come on. Giving up is nowhere in our DNA. Come on. And you know, Apostle wrote a powerful book. And it's on books, on Amazon and everywhere. But it's called Don't Quit. Don't quit. Get Back in the Fight. And that has been one of our hallmarks over the years. Not quitting. Not giving up. Miss Evans, Principal Evans spoke about the school we built. We built a school during the pandemic. And we built that school in 90 days. 90 days. Now, you know during the pandemic, ain't no banks was hardly open much less trying to give you a loan. Apostle and I were determined we build that school at over $1.5 million. We built it debt free. Yeah. Ah. I should have had some more praises than that. Whoop, 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 I don't even know if you all understand what that means. Whoop, 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 whoop. We build the school debt free, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 1.5 million dollars we build the school debt free without a bank with in the middle of a pandemic can you imagine while the pandemic was going on amen those guys that stayed here with us on the property got up every day and went to construction and boy are we glad that we built that school because look look all around you you see kids that made it by the grace of God. Having said that, as I close, I want to say this to everybody that's watching me, watching us all around the world. Praise God, wherever you are. This is what Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 says. Listen to this. It says, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle to the strong neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding but it says not yet favor to either to men of skill but time and chance belongs or happens to them all whether you run fast or whether you run moderately whether you eat bread or whether you eat cake, no matter what you are doing, chance happens to them all. That word chance means opportunity. And I want to just say tonight, as we're getting ready to go, I want to pray for everyone. I want to pray for the parents. I want to pray for the students. I want to pray for every one of you watching us around the world. Time and chance happens to us all. Time and chance being opportunity. God gives each one of us an opportunity. God gives each one of us a chance, praise God, to succeed in life. And what we do with that chance 
what we do with that opportunity is entirely up to you. So God is saying tonight, let's make good of this opportunity. BFCA, we started with nothing. And when we first started, we started with no one. We started with nothing. We don't have a diocese that we can call on. We don't have a, a direct, a, a board of millionaires that we can say, can you please, please help us to keep our light on? No. We all we started with was faith in God. Are you hearing me tonight? All we started with was one word from God. And that word when the Lord spoke to Apostle and I and said, start a school and start it now. Apostle came out and he told the church, he said, my wife and I was in prayer. And the Lord spoke to us loud and clear that we must start a school and we must start it now. And that was June. What year was that, Miss Evans? 2019. June 2019, y'all. And the school was supposed to be open in September. We started a school and we had nowhere to put the students. We had four classrooms in the back there. Are you people hearing this? And we had classes in the, in the balcony, classes all around. Everywhere we could find, we put people out of their office. He said, get out of this office. We need this for a classroom. Yes, ma'am. We took people out of office <laughs> and made them classrooms. Yes. And now look at the back. God gave us our own school building. Hallelujah. With a science lab. Yes. With a, with a science lab. Library. With a whole library. With a computer lab, computer lab, with music rooms, cafeteria. with a state-of-the-art cafeteria. cafeteria. Are you hearing me? And what? Two, two pools. swimming pools. Now, I don't know what school in the Bahamas have two swimming pools. And a full basketball court that we, we come on, y'all can celebrate that. We went to the basketball tournament in the Bahamas this year with little to no time to practice. And I don't know if our boys are in or are still in the auditorium tonight, but these boys, amen, they made, they confirmed that the devil was a liar. Hallelujah. And they played, I know Shaquille O'Neal in a Bahamian, but they played better than Shaq. Yes, I know everybody hoping the Warriors to win. Come on. Praise God this year championship. But they play it better than Mr. Curry. Curry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. But we honor God and we thank God. For, look at me give God a praise for these boys. Hallelujah. They are basketball stars. Hallelujah. Come on guys, let me see it. Let me see y'all. They are basketball stars. They are number one. Amen. And even our junior boys, they went out there and they didn't even know, amen, how to throw that ball. But they sunk that ball. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes, Reverend. Our girls didn't know where the line was. They wasn't sure what the, the line was on or off. But they tripped people down. Come on, they speak in tongues. And they got one ball in. Can we give God oh, praise for our girls? Woo! <laughs> oh, Lord. Our kids are yes. unbelievable achievers. Yes. They, they are unbelievable. Can I say one more thing in that regards? The sports day was not to be forgotten. Come on, prophet. These kids, I'm not just talking about our sports day. Our kids went to what was called the inner school, private school sports. And when that thing said on your marks, get set, pop. Our kids in their little clothes were spinning up. I mean, they crossed that finish line and they left dust behind them. Can we give God a praise for our athletic program here at BFCA? We thank God for our coaches. We thank God for our teachers. Now, parents, I want to thank God for you. I want to thank God for every one of you that is a parent of a student that is attending. BFCA. Do you know why I thank God for you? Because despite all odds and everything that could have come against you, you believed in us and you allowed your children to come through those white pearly gates from Monday to Friday. 
You believed in us parents. Can I get, can I get someone to praise God for our parents? For all of our parents. You could have opted out, but you stayed in. And you brought your kids to school every day. And we've had our share of challenges. But just like every other school, we overcame them. And I thank God today that we did. And I celebrate all of you that are part of this program. I celebrate you grade 6 graduates. I celebrate all of you. I celebrate all of you. You have done well. I'm not going to stay much longer. I feel as if I'm running out of my two minutes here. <laughs> my kids be hanging here. But let me say this. Between grade six and grade seven, in most schools, in particular the government system, something happens to children and they change over the summer. I pray, I want to pray over these kids tonight that nothing changes in their minds, that nothing changes in their little hearts, that nobody invade their space. Are you hearing me tonight? Because I want when they come back in September, that they go into grade seven with their heads held high, looking forward to achieve even greater success stories. In the name of Jesus, the same prayer I'm praying for those in grade nine. September of 2022 will be the first year that this school and this church will be, amen, crossing children over from ninth to 10th grade. This is gonna be history in the making for us. So I want you all to pray for them. Pray for our sixth graders going into grade seven. Pray for our ninth graders going into grade 10. And then pray for all of our students that are going to be excelling from higher heights to greater heights in Jesus' name. Now, no one can do this sort of miracle to run a whole school paying teachers paying staff, keeping lights on, unless they're partners. I want to ask every one of you watching me around the world tonight, and those of you in this building, to ask God to allow you to become a partner with BFCA. If we were to run this school based on just tuition, we would be finished because it will not ever be sufficient to keep a school of this magnitude going. Are we agreeing here? Ma Are we understanding? Yes, ma'am. So the Lord said to me, I said, God, what do I say to the people tonight? He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. We have given out so many scholarships in our last academic school year. And we are still helping even some of the kids. We still help them in so many ways and so many families. I want to just extend an invitation to every one of you, all of my partners. There are literally hundreds and thousands of you that are watching Maddie Nordage TV tonight and that are tapping in with this broadcast. And those of you in the middle, I want to ask the Lord to put it upon your heart to become a BFCA partner. A BFCA partner. To partner with us as we endeavor to take this thing to the next level. You know, Somebody once said this. They said, uh, uh, having vision without having sight is a serious dilemma. And they say, vision is greater than sight. But then they said, mm, they said, the only thing that is worse than being blind is having sight with no vision. This was Helen Keller, a girl that at about 19 months old went blind and deaf. And then later on in life, she became an author and wrote more books and changed more lives in her time than people that had eyes and ears. What am I saying to you tonight, people of God? Have vision and become a part of our vision. In this, in this organization. Let's put some monies where our vision is. Let's put some money where our 
vision is. And I want to invite you, become a partner tonight. If you're watching us right now, you can go onto our website. It's maddienordage.org. Or you can even go to BFCA Academy, Believers Faith Christian Academy. But if you want to become a partner, I believe you can go on maddienordage.org. Even if you want to sow tonight. Okay, if you want to sow. The link is in the chat. Amen. You can, you can just click on that link. And you can sign yourself up right now to become a BFCA partner. For whatever amount you want to pledge, if you want to do it a month, if you want to do it, you know, each month or each quarter, we invite you to come on board with Apostle and I and help us to sponsor our school and even sponsor a student. I want to give some, by the grace of God, more scholarships this year. I want to make sure that the scholarship program is still going on. So that, in fact, that little boy, if I'm not mistaken, is one of our scholarship recipients, isn't he? Can we give God a praise for him? And he is our student of the year. Now, not because he is a scholarship recipient, but because he has done extraordinary well. He earned that. He earned that. That's that, that award. And the same thing for uh, my friend here. Okay. These are people that come to school. And they come to school. What's her name again? I can't. Kamaya. Kamaya did so well. Kamaya, congratulations. You did very well. And I believe with the help of God, you're going to do even better. Amen. In the upcoming school year. Can we give God a praise for her tonight? Thank you, Jesus. So thank you so much. Those of you that are watching us online, you can do so. Amen. Right now, even if you want to give, go right there. The link is in the chat. If you're in the auditorium, and you want to sow into the program, just ask one of the protocol officers. They will give you an envelope or they can also connect you with the link that will allow you to sow. Amen. So thank you so much. I just thought I would say that tonight. Amen. And I understand that if we're going to do it and if we're going to, if we're going to make it, praise God, we're going to need your support and your partnership. Praise God. Amen. Are you ready to pray now? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Hallelujah. Just let's lift those hands all the way up. Praise God. Let's lift them as high as you can get them. Praise God. If you can stand on your feet, get up on your feet. Praise God. Amen. Everyone just stand for a moment. Let's pray because I want God to bless you. I want God to bless your family. I want him to bless your children. I want him to bless that his favor will be upon your children and your children's children and to your entire generation. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you will bless these children. I ask that you will keep them under the shadow of your wings. That you will hide them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let no plague come nigh their dwelling place. You said you will give your angels charge over them. And they will keep them in all their ways. So I plead your blood over the children tonight. I plead your blood. I declare your blood. I decree your word. I decree your blood. I don't plead it because we already have it. So I speak the blood of Jesus over the lives of every child. I declare the blood of Jesus over the life of every family. In the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus to cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray for the parents. I pray that Lord you will give the parents wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Give the parents patience in the name of Jesus that they will be able to help to nurture. You said treat of the child in the way they should go and when they're older they will not depart from you. Father I speak tonight your blessing over the principal, over the directors, over the vice principal, over the staff and faculty. I speak it over every person under the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, God that nothing will fail and they will not fail but they will all succeed in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus some of our kids are not here some of them are not here today but God bless them bless them in the name of Jesus Lord let them know that it is well it is well it is well so father we speak this in the mighty name of Jesus that our kids will go on they will be strong and they will do great exploits in Jesus Christ mighty and the holy name in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I'm going to ask all the kids on the front line and just bring them up for me. I want to just touch them real quick. 
in the name of Jesus, I want to just touch them as they're passing. Praise God. We're done, but I want to just touch them in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Come on. Somebody begin to pray. Somebody agree with me at this time because these kids are graduating. They're going on to another level. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. tonight. May the lives of the people never be the same again. Those of you parents, let me just say something to you. This school is a Christian school and we uphold the principles of the Bible. I want to say that because I gave you a word a moment ago about vision and they said vision is greater than sight. If you believe in us, then come alongside and support us. We don't want to see you only on a graduation. I just felt the Lord want me to say this because it's good to come with balloons it's good to come and sit somewhere because you are the father or you are the mother or you are the grandmother listen to me carefully and hear my voice it takes a whole village to raise yes. one child that's right one child you know I used to go to school and I always wondered what the problem of some parents was you know when something happened to the child they bust up to the school they want to find the teacher. They want to box somebody out. No, this is not that type of school. We are a peaceful people here. And worse, if we haven't seen you to no meetings, Amen. we haven't seen you to no events. Right. You know, my kids were in school. And my husband and I, every now and then, 
we will go to pick our kids up from school or we will ask when is the parent teacher's day and we want to know how is this child doing is this child a menace is this child what and you know what when teachers realize that parents are concerned about their children they even deal with your child a certain way I can always tell my, 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 even me as a teacher as a professor with my own university I can tell when somebody really did their homework or they just did it in the car coming so teachers know if you are a good parent pay attention to your children yeah pay attention to what to your children do not leave your children in the hands of no school to raise themselves you are a partner and if you cannot partner with that school or that institution go find somewhere where you can partner with and when I say partner I don't just mean financial I'm talking about moral support I'm talking about everything when it's spelling bee competition be there when it's speech competition be there when it's track competition be there when it's basketball competition be there Hallelujah. be there I had a little prayer in high school. I wished more than anything when I was getting ready to run the 200 meters that my father was there. And he never came. He always promised me every time, I promise you, I, I'm coming. I would look to the bleachers and I never saw my father in the bleachers. Even when I was finished and being celebrated by everybody, that's my father. He had one small habit. And that was that he drank. So by the time I got home, he was drunk. I said, you didn't come. He said, ah, I'm coming next time. Next time never came. Never, never came. My mother was there. Thank God. I'm just saying a word. We're getting ready to celebrate Father's Day. I don't want, I don't like sperm donors. These children need a father. These children they don't need no jig. Oh, sorry. They don't need none of that crazy stuff. They need fathers. I, I'm finished, you know. I'm just telling you. I don't want, I don't just want daddy. I want father. I want father. Whether you marry their mother or not look at that nose that's yours look at that eyes he no doubt he no other man impossible for that to be another man child that's yours there are many teachers but there are only few fathers I want to employ all of you as I close for real this time be a father stop skating bull skating around this town like you are some Mr. Lover, 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 Lover. Shabba. 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 Mr. Lover, Lover, Lover. Hey, I ain't into, we not into that. Cut you down and call you shorty. Be a what? Be a real father. Be a real father. Because when you turn around, let me say this. We're getting ready to celebrate men and family on Sunday with our apostle. I invite all of you to come. I invite everyone to be here. But let me tell you something. These same little children which you see right here today, they in what? They in 6th grade? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In a few years, 5 to 6 years, they could be standing with a different role born and they could be graduating high school. And then another couple years after that, they're going to be graduating college. It's going to be a shameful, disgraceful, distasteful thing to know that you had not a part nor a lot and their overall development. All you was was a donor. Prophetess, you should have just closed a long time. You always getting in trouble. This called good trouble. I watch and see. I challenge all of y'all. Go home and start being a father. If it's a girl, she needs a daddy. She needs some father. If it's a boy, he just need a father. We don't need no sugar in his tank. 
Because you're always absent. No, be a man. You know exactly what you did to get them here. So maintain these children. Don't let nobody put it in their head that anybody better than them. Let them know before they ever get the broken by a man's heart. Hey, listen to me. Girl, you are beautiful. You're my daughter. You're my daughter. You're my son. You're number one. You're number one. You came last. That's okay. That's okay. Next time you go with, put something powerful in their spirit that they will never believe the lie of another man or woman. You are the best teachers ever, parents. You have the capability to be the best teachers ever. And if you're a single parent, hats off to you again. Hats off to you. Hats off to you. Because I know with God on your side, Amen. And this school, you and your children are going to make it. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Hallelujah. We love all of you. Thank you so much for being with us. Amen. Thank you. We'll see you all tomorrow night. It's Friday night. It's our miracle healing and deliverance night. Don't miss it tomorrow night. It's going to be very powerful. And may God bless all of you. Have a good evening. I want to say to those of you that are online or on streaming, praise God, amen, don't go too far, praise God, I may be slipping back into online tonight, just for a few minutes, amen, to pray, and to speak into some of you, amen, I, I may slip back in, so we're going to sign this off, and if it be the will of God, you'll see me coming right back up in about 10 or 15 minutes, amen, so God bless all of you, thank you for coming, God bless you, see you tomorrow night, right here, right here, by the grace of God. Congratulations, kids. God bless you all. Thank you.